Hello vintage computer friends. I wanted to make the case that the Amstrad CTM monitor, which you see here, the Amstrad CTM 644, which is an RGB monitor for the Amstrad CPC, is actually also quite a decent uh, composite monitor, right? So I have connected my Atari 400 here, which has been modded for composite video output, to my CTM monitor. And I just wanted to give you a little demo of the video quality that you get. And of course it requires a little bit of um, effort to hook up a composite video source, such as the Atari 400 here, to an RGBS monitor. So you need a converter for this and also a sync splitter. But, um, you know, the image quality is actually quite good then. And originally, of course, the Atari had only RF uh, modulator TV output, so I modded this to um, output composite video, right? That's a very common mod for Ataris. And it's a nice, crisp, sharp image, nothing is blurry, so the Amstrad CTM is quite a decent monitor. Of course, it's not going to be as versatile as a Commodore 1084, for example because that thing usually even has more inputs, right? But that way you can at least have RGB, right? Amstrad CPC, SCART, for example, for the Amiga, as well as composite input now, um, with my um, external way of connecting it, right? And that, of course, not only works for the Atari 400, but for any composite video source and any old composite uh, outputting retro computer, right? Yeah, I must say I'm quite happy with the video quality. And um, so this is what you would need in order to hook it up, right? So it requires a little bit of extra circuitry. But it's well worth the effort. Alright guys, thanks for watching.